of Linda Yates from Island Pond, Vermont. I want to know why she got away with what? Harassing me, stalking me, and terrorizing. If you look up the definitions, my statement concludes all of that and then some. She made allegations about I'm a bad person and that she's going to make sure that my dog was taken away from me. And she made allegation that my daughter doesn't deserve to be a mother and she was going to make sure that my grandson was taken away. So why is it that these people were not charged with anything that they did yet? My daughter and I get charged. We get locked out of our homes illegally. Our homes get um, destroyed. We lost all our properties. Those are violations of all of our civil rights, human rights, and more rights, okay? And why is it that the known person that lived in uh, in between, he was called a squatter by the uh, landlord's wife, being paid by Department of Human Services to stay couch surfing within the Beehive in Island Pond, Vermont. And with that being said, that gives me all reason to believe and none to doubt that Linda Yates, knowing that she's had her kids taken away from her for what reason, and never got them back. Same people, same office, but now that same office is allowing her to do respite care and has her on fucking cuckoo pills. And she's on an SSI check because what? Fucking cuckoo pills? I'm just asking. And so why is it that she's being able to dictate my daughter? Are you fucking serious? What's wrong with you people in the state of Vermont? Did you drink too much of or did you ingest too many of those fucking silly cuckoo pills from mental health services? I just want to know the answers to that, so I'm seeking by asking questions.